from Tampa Bay's streaming news leader. Brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Jamison Euler. Dennis has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. The vice mayor of a small local town is arrested. Maurice Campbell is the vice mayor of Fort Meade, and police say she left threatening voicemails on another woman's phone. The victim was called numerous times by a number belonging to Campbell's husband in the middle of the night. A woman left voicemails full of profanity on the victim's phone. The voicemails even had threats to the woman's health that she told detectives were, she believed, were credible. Hamburger Mary's is closing two more locations in Tampa Bay. The owner tells us the restaurants in St. Petersburg and Brandon will shut down in late March. Kurt King tells ABC Action News that he could not keep the business afloat after closing the Ybor City location. Customers stopped coming after the health department said one of its workers tested positive for hepatitis A, something Hamburger Mary's disputes. The scandal of spending at the University of Central Florida could continue to cost money after the president stepped down. The board of trustees will meet Thursday to discuss a possible $600,000 settlement for Dale Whitaker after accepting his resignation. Whitaker became president last July after the retirement of longtime president John Hitt. An audit of the university found the school improperly used $38 million in state funds. In other news, the family of Jabez Spann planning his funeral. His family believes he witnessed a murder before going missing. Earlier this month, his remains were found in a Manatee County field. Spann's family says his funeral will take place this Saturday at noon at the True Vine Missionary Baptist Church in Sarasota. And now here's Dennis with your forecast. How you doing everybody? Parts of the area picked up close to four inches of rain on Tuesday afternoon and overnight Tuesday into Wednesday. The showers and storms continue. I think we get a break though the first half of Wednesday with partly sunny skies, very warm temperatures and then tracking another area of rain. Potentially some stronger storms arriving late Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening. Thank you, Dennis. And don't forget, you can get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And remember, you can always download our free ABC Action News app. This ABC Action News update is brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. Pedestrians, always use the crosswalk and cross with the signal when crossing the street. Because safety doesn't happen by accident.